Okay, welcome to another Technique Friday. And it's actually night time here at the moment, but it is a Friday. <laughs> and um, I'm sorry I'm a bit late with this this week, but uh, I've been in a lot of pain this week and that's why you haven't really seen a lot of me lately. Um, but I'm getting over that now, which is great. And today I'm only doing a quick Technique Friday, but I I wanted to show you something that I did recently, which is this girl here. Now this girl here is a mixed media girl, and she was just a girl that I did um, for Life Book, and it was a particular class. Uh, I did her, and she looked a lot different from from what Tam um, was teaching, but. The thing that people were interested in was her hair. Um, and her hair is completely done in intense blocks. And I swear to you, there's only like three or four brush strokes in the entire thing. So today I'm going to show you how to do that kind of technique. There's another one that I've done recently as well. And I'll just pull out this one using the same technique but on a smaller girl so this girl here her hair was done the same and I did it in uh, browns oranges and bright yellow and it got a really lovely like if I zoom in on that her hair looks really nice and toned and that was just a brush stroke here a brush stroke there and a few little one there one there and a few little tendrils and that's it for that particular girl and she um, her hair was the easiest part of that entire thing <laughs> I couldn't believe it that one I did with intense pencils not blocks because she's smaller so it's a little technique that I if, that I go to and use occasionally when I really want to get some nice variegation in my hair and I'm lazy about wanting to do it so just quickly I have pre-drawn a girl I'll zoom in right so we can see this girl she's got lovely hair I'm not coloring the rest of her in I'm just going to do the hair today and I figure I will use the blocks because I think more of you will have the blocks I might use some pencils as well, but I'll mainly use the blocks. And I'm thinking to myself, uh, what sort of hair will I do? I'm thinking she'll look nice with red hair. So the first thing that I do when I'm thinking red hair is I go and I do a deeper kind of a colour. And I'll do that at the part and I'll just pop that in. You know some of the strokes and I'll particularly pop it in here going down her neck and I'll make that very strong and I'll have some deepness coming through here as well under her ears and I'll do the same over here just down around her neck and I'll bring that out here and I usually like the line to have a deep edge to it and I might just put a few slightly larger cores in here Right, so I've done the dark, and the dark's done, and you can see it's like a rough process. Um, I'm now going to put some yellow in, and I'm going to put a lot of it in at the top here, because the, the sun's going to hit her here, and so a lot of her light highlights will be here. Um, but you will, but I always like to intersperse um, colours as I go down as well. And introduce different colors 
and they're already blending but they're blending dry now and I'll put one more color in and I think I'll probably oh look I'll, I'll be bold and I'll put like a purple in right so I'll just put that purple in but I won't put as much of it it'll really just be a highlight and it will blend and I might just like she's got some bangs here and this part here I want to be quite delineated and I'll throw in a little bit of yellow there to make that look just that little bit different this is a Naples yellow you can see these blocks I've just broken one alright so I think there's heaps and heaps of colour there now the trick to this method um, what I usually do make sure the dust is gone but what I usually do too is um, if I've got good paper then I will pull my ink tents out or the blocks out when this is wet um, but okay so I've got a really nice flat brush here and I've just got my paint water and all I'm going to do is just take it from the top and bring it down and twist it out and I'm going to get some more water and do the same here and you see that natural variegation that's occurring already And all I'm going to do is do the same here so I'm starting from the dark and then building it out starting from the dark and featuring along her hair, her inner hairline now I'm going to get a big round brush and just do any flicks that she may have in her hair that I'm wanting to put out any further blending that I may want to do and this is where she's got some like wicked foils in her hair right okay so her hair then is done there you go and how quick was that and you've got that natural variegation variation um, she is looking quite dimensional now if I really want to add in some deeper high, um, uh, low lights and highlights I can get in and blend it in when I'm wet just do a little bit extra with some of these things and then just wet them in again and you see that the you have to activate them but you can just add some deeper tones in and you can do what you want with this whole thing but she's essentially looking really like a beautiful redhead that's got some sun hitting her hair from top and I really like that now I've used that with like I said I've used it with purples I've used it with browns I've now used it with reds and I wouldn't you could put an orange in there but it makes orange the red and the yellow together and then the purple just gives it a grapey kind of a feel um, and just you know you just have those these little pops of that here just to give a deeper variation you could use a deep brown um, in that to make it darker again with some of the things but essentially that's it 
and how simple and easy is that and you don't have to do layer upon layer upon layer upon layer the trick to it is having that nice big flat wash brush to actually get that those strokes in that are beautifully variegated and then you can work with it at the bottom it's I like the girls hair smoother at the top and then more variegated at the bottom so that's it for technique Friday this week really quick easy technique but it's something that I thought that you would like I've used it a few times lately and people go wow I hadn't thought of that that's how you do it ciao for now see you next week